has been struggling on how to empower his employees to get with the new trends in the business. Over the past few years, AT&T has become the wireless leader and is focusing on wireless and less on wired line products. In voicemail, his support has mainly been the wired line business. This group has grown from over 8 million customers to less than 1 million wireline customers to date. The workforce has gone from over 30 employees to 10 currently. The projection is down to 7 within the next two years. David sees the trends in looking for avenues to grow and for his team. Today we're going to get a first step in coaching his employees that are comfortable with where they are today and are not really interested in expanding themselves. David's goal is to have employees develop for the future so they are ready to move on when needed. His concern is instead of being able to move them on to something else other than lay off the employees. David is working on interpersonal communication manual, project for the coach. Please welcome David Eglisdorfer, ETM. What do I need to do to advance myself? What do I need to, to do to advance myself? David Eglisdorfer. I think as I've been talking over the last couple months, you know that things are changing. We're going away from the actual cable to wireless. So your job is from plugging these cables in, you won't have that job anymore. You're now going to be setting a box down, turning it on, and from then on, you're going to have to get in there software-wise and make the changes that you want to make change. It's no longer a physical job. Your job is changing. I've seen this coming for the last five, six years. It's just the writing is on the wall. If you look forward, your jobs will not be there. So the question is that you have to ask yourself, which I am asking on a regular basis, what do I need to do to become rele rele relevant? Now the company has all kinds of programs to get you to what we're calling Workplace 2020. I know you have been hearing about this because I have been talking about these in my staff meetings. Workplace 2020. Sign up. Take a video. What, listen to one of the training sessions. Watch one of the um, iPad, iPod sessions. But has anybody done it? No. I get notification when you sign up for training. And nobody in the last nine months has signed up for anything. My boss keeps telling me, stop, stop already. I keep getting all these notifications because you're doing all this training. I was like, well, you told me to do the training, right? And you told me that I need to work on moving towards the future. I need to go to the Workplace 2020, which is totally wireless. You no longer have a phone. You no longer have a laptop in front of you. What you're going to have is one of these. You walk in the door, and you put in your, either you can, they'll have a little swipey thing that you swipe your badge on there, and all of a sudden, your desktop appears on your, on your iPad. Your cell phone will automatically be your office number. So anybody can get a hold of you 24-7, anytime, wherever you're at. It's a mobility workforce. You're going to be mobile. That's what we need to be. Now some of you that are still hanging on to your old desktops, we need to get rid of those desktops. What have I been doing the last year? I have been getting rid of the desktops and the old laptops that are not wireless, and we're getting rid of the wiring, we're getting rid of all the stuff that you crutch, that you, you stick behind and, and hide behind. That's all going away. By 2017, there will be no longer phone service, wired, line, wired phone service in your home. There will be no customer out there that has a wired phone by 2017. AT&T has said that. Now is that actually going to happen? 
I don't know. We're already six months ahead of schedule for 2014 on the voice over IP platform. So what's going to happen is everything's going to be connected to the internet. Your phones are going to be connected to the internet. So if somebody wants to get a hold of you at your home phone number, once you go to the voice over IP platform, you can log in at home in Florida and you and they'll get be able to get a hold of you on your laptop or on your PC or your your desktop, whatever the case may be, your iPad. So how do we make this happen? AT&T has provided all kinds of growth venues for you. Certifications. Tuition aid up to $5,000 a year. And yes, I know $5,000 won't even buy a master's, one class, a master's program. But at least that's something that goes towards your education. If you don't have your associate's degree, Sign up and get it. The company will pay for it. Where can you go that said, and the company support you like that? They will pay for your CCNA certifications, your Cisco training. They will pay for project management training, Six Sigma training. That's a, a resource that you can take anywhere in the company. Their Six Sigma, their project management training is phenomenal and utilized throughout the whole company. Change management, network engineering. There's tons of free books being able to be able, that you can download provided by the company. All kinds of technical training books, how-to books, growth books. There's no reason why people shouldn't be reading. And of course, the videos. And I'll have to be the first one to say I can't even keep up with all the videos. I spent literally from 7 a.m. Monday morning till 7 p.m. Monday night watching videos that I am behind on from what the company is sending out. Now, the other thing is you guys hide behind email. I have been telling you, we're going to T-Space. No more email. So as of this Friday, everybody must have a T-Space login and must have their T-Space location set up. If you need assistance, I've been telling you that we've been needing to do this, but I'm telling you by Friday it has to be done. No more Mr. Nice Guy. T-Space is where we're going. It's like Facebook. If you're not familiar with Facebook, I feel sorry for you. Because <laughs> you got to get on board. It's time to make the change. So email is now going to be secondary to communications. T-Space is the next communications. If you do not log into Q on a regular basis, our messaging system, you need to do that. I will be checking every day, and this will be part of your performance plan. And your bonus at the end of the year will be based on how fast you respond to instant messaging. If you are not logged in, that day, you are going to be dinged for not being online for that day. That's bottom line. I've been telling you this for the last seven years. We need to get on to instant messaging. So, what do I focus on? That's the question I keep getting. What are the company priorities? Wireless. Have I said that before? Number one is wireless. What does that mean? Big data. Cloud services. Server farms. Digital life. Wireless home phone. Wireless data. And then the latest technology announcement, if anybody hasn't been paying attention, I've sent out several emails on this and a T-Space notification about AT&T purchasing Direct TV. So, what is the next phase for Direct TV or for AT&T? It's television. But honestly, that is not their main point. Their point is connectivity to the home. That's where we need to be. Home automation is where the company's going. Internet, wireless internet. Once 
the DirecTV merger is completed or acquisition, depending on who you talk to. It is an acquisition. We'll be in 130 million homes in the United States, plus another 20 million in South America. So that's a big deal for our company. We are going wireless. We are going internet. We are going voice over IP. There is no long more wireline products. And yes, the first thing that you'll say is, well, we still have to support our customer. Well, yes, but if you haven't noticed, even our customers are moving. 60% of our customers, when they move, do not have a home phone anymore. They go to wireless. So that's, what's 90% of our product? Residential wireline home phone voicemail service. That's not happening anymore. As, as you can tell, we went from 8 million Unisys voicemail alone, the residential voicemail platform alone, in California, we're down to under 400,000 customers. We had almost 6 million at one time. That's telling you where the product and where the services are going. And again, the next phase is instead of worrying about internet services, we're going to, and how fast we're going, it's going to be all about content and delivery on a pipe. And how fast is that pipe? It's going to be as fast as the customer wants and needs. So our next phase is gigapower. So that's the next one that we're going to. We're going fiber to the home. People are going to have bigger power worth of internet speeds. Now what does that mean? That means like four or five people can be down, downloading videos all at the same time and nobody would notice a difference. And it would be so fast you'd probably blink your eye and then you already have it. So that's where we're going. The goals again for wireline is to be gone by 2017. So what happens to our customers that still have, want to keep their wireline service? Well, we'll provide them an incentive to get off of the old wireline products. Eventually, it's very costly to maintain these products, so the customer will have to go to some type of internet-based phone service, if they still want it. Most customers just have a cell phone. They don't even want it anymore. Limited wireline product. Almost all of our wireline products have been capped. So when a customer calls in and says, I would like a home phone, the first thing they say, wow, wouldn't you really want a cell phone? And for just $10 more, you can have a cell phone and people can get a hold of you wherever you want. But I really want a landline. But you know what? We'll make it better for you. At no cost extra, you can get a wireless phone. But I really want a landline phone. Well, oh, you know, and to an added bonus, we'll throw in internet for only twenty dollars more but i really want a wireless phone i'm sorry customer we're not going to provide that product anymore but hopefully by the time they offer four different products and different features theoretically the customer will take it and we can't we won't go back and tell them we aren't offering that product anymore but at some point by 2017 we are going to say we do not provide the wireline service anymore Yes, we have pressure to downsize as we grow. So the company is growing. We are seeing wireless. We are seeing big data. We are seeing home automation. And what are we doing with wireline? It's going away, right? People are going away. The products are going away. We don't have these services anymore. So what happens to us? That's the only product we support, so we're going away. Now, is that going to happen tomorrow? No. But we need to get serious about looking at what is going to happen in the future. Now next year I know for sure we're going to have to go down two more headcount. Now will that happen through attrition? Probably. But I do not want to be in a situation where I come to you in, two, in end of 2015 and say, you know it's been great but unfortunately we have to cut a headcount and nobody Excuse wanted to take the new product and move on to a new Thank service. You for your cooperation. And you can talk to Robert. He said that's the best thing that ever happened to him. I know he was a little nervous about moving on, getting out of his comfort zone. 
but I think it was a great move for Robert. And now when I talk to Robert, he is very happy where he's at. At first he was a little uh, nervous because there was a lot of changes going on, but now he loves it. I, as a matter of fact, I just talked to him today, and he still thinks it was a great move for him. And he's glad I gave him the little nudge to move on. So there are a few products that we will probably pick up over the next few years. But remember that internet services is going away. So even if we stick with our internet services, that product will be going away too and going to the wireless product. So for 2014, I would like you to set a goal. Update your resume, complete some type of training by the end of August so that we can get this going for everybody. And I'd like to end with a quote from Stephen Hawking. He said, I have noticed even people who claim everything is predestined and that we can do nothing to change it look before they cross the road. Ha, 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 ha.